ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we are venturing into the realm of Detective Conan and whatnot. Just let me get things situated here. And I am ready. All I had to do was shift around my chair. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be continuing. It should load the game you had before. Uh, this is it. I believe. Yes, this is it. Alrighty! Act 2 of Detective Conan! Or, case closed. The Maropolis Investigation. From investigating Jess Rayburn's murder, it appears that her killing was premeditated. There's also a good chance the culprit was right-handed. On top of that, there are these incidents from 12 years ago. Yes, I'm a bit distracted. Uh, I lost a file somewhere on my computer that I had. I prepared for these LPs with a file. Where'd it go? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that I did not get that. I should've done that. Why didn't I? And... There it is. Okay, now I got it open. Alrighty. Basically, what it what I did was I got a... I went through the game and played it three times. The first time I played it, I played it through just for the fun of it. The second time, I played it through to gather what I would have to do, basically, to complete the game. That way, I wouldn't be wandering about too much during this LP. And I have the file, and I didn't open it for some reason. Anyway, now I have. Um, okay. So 12 years ago, there was an incident that had some kind of connection with this murder. And Mr. Ogre was probably involved. And that's what we're going to be investigating. Investigate Mr. Ogre is our now goal. To view prior reasoning, press the 1 button when details from a cleared act are displayed in the clue chain. Press the 1 button when details from a cleared act are displayed in the clue chain. Press the 1 button when... That doesn't make much sense. Now you can view back, go back into the notes and look at stuff from Act 1, all the different clues. Huh. Anyway, oh, I don't know if I went over this, the relationship chart. Basically, lines show relationships, like they're married, that he knows her and him, they know each other, and dead. Because, obviously, that's the best way to show when someone is dead. Alrighty, I'm not gonna go over that that much, they're not too interesting. Uh, alrighty, so the first thing we're going to want to do... Uh, here's the problem I was talking about. I wondered if it would show up. The door will not let me through. I'm pressing the A button. If, however, I use the B button to reposition the camera, I can go through. Alrighty, skateboard. Oh, wrong button. Skateboard. Wrong way. I haven't played this game since I recorded the other one. I've been playing so many other games since then. Okay, so. Let's go to the first floor, which we're supposed to go next. Now, most of the... Um, guests are just going to be saying the same thing that they said before. So, like, where should I go next? I want to do some shopping. You know, that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure it's almost all exactly the same stuff as it was before. So I'm not going to be talking to most of them. Uh, here, we want to approach Mr. Chase. And Conan's going to go and talk to Mr. Chase, the owner of the Maropolis and his secretary, Miss Wixon. You're saying that the owner went to check the crime scene of the murder with Detective Moore, right? Yeah, and at that time he pretended he didn't know the lady who was killed, and he obviously did. <sighs> and there's a rumor going around and stuff, so now they have to be chatted up. And obviously the best way to do that is to walk up as a little kid and go, Hi! Um, basically, right now we're just going around looking for little pieces of information. We have to make some cutscenes play out. But this, like I said, this is pretty much the extent of the gameplay. We're not going to be doing too much more than pressing the A button and walking around. <laughs> uh, 
っき毛利探偵に直接お伝えしたはずだがおじさん忘れちゃったのかもしれないからあ、one thing I guess I should say about um I don't know, did I talk about that? I have to rewatch all those old videos to make sure I don't talk about stuff over again uh, I guess I'll just say it anyway uh, one thing I like about the subtitled versions or whatever with the Japanese voices is that Khan has a clear distinction between when he's being serious and his little kid voice and that's something the uh, dub didn't take into consideration but uh yeah so oh my gosh they're lying who lies to a kid they're monsters Hey, where's the watch with the left hand? Does that mean he's right-handed? Well, kind of not. I wear my right hand, my watch with my right hand, and I'm right-handed, so it's not really an indication. At least we didn't get anything really important out of them, so let's leave. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Activate my turbo run. Okay. This way. <laughs> Now we need to go to Hotel 3F Hall. Whoopsie. Went too far up. Hotel 3F. This is the Hotel 3F shop. This is the Hotel 3F Hall. The big long room. And a cutscene plays! Conan, did you spot someone suspicious? Suspicious? The thing is, I need to take a really difficult case. Um, eh. Someone's taken the maid outfit? It was the person that fell on the floor! That guest! They wanted to take it! They died a minute earlier! So basically she lost her work uniform and it's hardly related at this point. But knowing Detective Conan, everything is related. So somehow this is going to become important. If you can guess how, you've probably played the game before. If not, you probably haven't. If you haven't played the game and you can guess it, then that just means you're really, really, really smart. Or you can see the future. So what's my 21st birthday gonna look like? Just leave a comment below. I'm very excited to know. I don't like surprises. <laughs> Anyway, other than that, let's just way through this hall. I don't think there's anything around here. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything around here. Right now, I'm just gonna go back into the door. I should just gone backwards. Back into this door, and now we have to talk to this guy. He's an ex stand comedian who likes bad jokes. He was badly treated by Mr. Chase, so he was resentful. He's got some of his chase, right? So, once again, it's the same thing, basically, as was before. He talks to his little kid voice, Hey, I have to ask you something. And he wants to tell a bad joke. Do not become Chugga Conroy. And basically, he doesn't have much of a good alibi, I guess. Well, actually, he does have a good alibi. Some person was working Some person, I don't think we met her, have we? We haven't spoken with her directly, I don't think. Um, Mr. Chase's wife. But we saw her at the opening ceremonies. Tips on making speeches more interesting. So many puns. No. 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 <laughs> And he's catching a wise a kid asking me these questions. And he's saying I'm making make believe detective. Yeah. <laughs> if I cannot understand for the life of me why no one has ever called Conan out for being so smart and whatnot. It just seems like everyone in that universe is kinda dumb. They swallow his lies instantly and easily. Alrighty, so now we've talked with Al. We have to talk with Al again. What's wrong? Mr. Chase has been on the edge lately. He's being really tough on me. I'm worried about things. He changed suddenly? 
But Mr. Chase saw the guy with the scar on his face and started acting funny. And a piece of information has been received. Mr. Chase looked disturbed. According to Al, Mr. Chase started acting strangely after seeing Mr. Ogre. Well, if anyone saw an ogre, they would start acting strange. I mean, come on, look what they tried to do to Shrek. Alright, so now we have to go to... Fifth floor, where we're going to talk to this ogre. And there he is. He was arguing with Jess Raper and the lady who was murdered. They were arguing he might have had some motive which would make him want to kill the victim. Speaking of which, there's something I'd really like to confirm. I'll go myself, because obviously, kids are great to sing by themselves. I know he's a high school student and everything, but he's, he really he is reckless. Get lost! I'm evil! Or at least I'm setting myself up to seem evil, because obviously, I can't be the villain, because if I was the villain, then... I would be revealed too, obviously. Honestly, he's the only person who uh, you should never suspect right now because, uh, you know, he's the guy they're looking for you know, into. And when you're looking into someone, that obviously means they're not the victim. Because the story would just be all weird if it was. Based on the mark left, the victim was strangled through right handed, but Mr. Ogre is lefty! Oh. Couldn't you use this pressure with left hand on purpose to hide the fact he was right hand left handed? Tell or not, he's as shady as they come. So, it's still open for interpretation or whatever, but basically, he if he was the villain, then this would be really, really weird for Conan to just immediately know. But then again, there are some times when Conan does know immediately. I mean, there was an episode early on in the first season, I think it was, where basically, um, the whole episode, you knew who the bad guy was, but you, they just had to find out the stuff to prove it. Uh, because he had, like, an airtight alibi. Okay. There she is. Hey, he's interviewed by Detective Moore! Whoopee! <laughs> and, oh no, he wasn't at the pool. Dun dun dun. We have our next piece of information! Mr. Ogre's alibi! Alright, now... Like I said, we're, we're systematically going floor by floor almost, looking for re 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 relevant people. And speaking of which... There's one. And she's pretty much really- like, there's a lot of this stuff is relaying stuff that you already know. Good luck, Mr. Detective! And just stand here. Stand here, and press A again. Talk to her again. Because obviously, <laughs> what I need to do to make this game last longer was to make you run away thinking you got your information and have to come back. And now we got another piece of information! Alright, now, look at him, running in place! And he escaped running in place, so. Now we need to go to room 10003, and this is it. And once again, I'm just explaining how useless this view is, because you can't look at anything! And with that, I'm going to end this episode off, and we'll go into room 1003, 1003, however you want to pronounce it, next time! So, see you then!